Okay? So that he was a leper until the day of his death and dwelt in, a, in, in several houses. And Jothan, the king's son, was over the house, judging the people of the land. And the rest of the acts of Azariah and all that he did, are uh, they not written in the book of the chronicles uh, of the king of Judah? So Azariah slept with his father, and they burned him with his father. Burned him with his fathers in the city of David and Jotham, and his son reigned in his stead. All right, he was a good king, but he, was, he died. He died with leprosy, or he was smothered, and he died. All right. Also, when you look at um, a Second Kings fourteen, uh, it also witnessed that he was sixteen years old, fourteen twenty one. He was 16 years old when he started to reign. Mm -hmm. All right. And then when you look in 2 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles 26, 1 through 5, we're looking at the character of that uh, he was Uzziah. Amen. Chapter 26. Chapter 26, 2 Chronicles. Mm -hmm. 1 through 5. Then all the people of Judah took Uzziah, who was 16 years old, and made him king. Now you see the coordination now. It's talking about the same person mm -hmm. with a different name. Mm -hmm. And just want you to see sometimes the names are different, but the history is the same, okay? So uh, then all the people of Judah took Uzziah, who was 16 years old, and made him king in the room of his father, Amaziah. See, Amaziah's father. And he built Otham. Now let me just stop. We're going to go down to four, verse four, that same passage. It said, and he did which was right in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father Amaziah had done. And look at verse 5. Last part, it says, And sought God in the days of Zechariah, who had understanding in the visions of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, as long as he sought the Lord, God made him to prosper. As long as he sought the Lord. Amen. 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 A lot of times people want the prosperity of God and they're not seeking God in their decisions. Your yeses and your noes have a lot to do with your future. Amen. Amen. Yeah. We're going to talk about it just for a little while. Seeing God, then seeing me. Seeing God, then seeing me. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Pause. Who has to die before you see the Lord? Because people refer to him as the great guy in the sky and the man upstairs, a whole lot of crazy names, not giving reverence to God to try to bring God down to their level instead of coming up to God's level. Amen? Yes. Who do you have to die in your family or your friends around you before you see the character and the nature of God and who God is and give him reverence? Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. And say, and, and high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood seraphim, each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried one unto another, and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord mm -hmm. of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the doors moved. At the voice of him that cried, mm. and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with his tongues from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, 
This hath touched thy lips, and thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I say? And who will go for us? Then said I, Isaiah, Here am I, send me. Amen. We've been learning about uh, the names of God, and, and in verse 3, there's a description of God in, in threefold. Amen. Amen. Holy, holy, holy. God is holy. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And, and, and we have learned even from Sunday school this morning that you can't approach God any kind of way. You can't come with your mess. Wow. And they say, expect God to bless it. Amen? Amen. You must come with understanding of what holiness is. Point one. We must understand what holiness is. Amen. King Uzziah reigned for 52 years, king of Judah, which is the southern kingdom. When our world is falling apart, God is still on the throne. You hear me? Amen. He sat upon the throne. And things could be happening all about you. This, this year has been like the valley, a death valley. Every time you turn around, I hear of another death, another death. And as soon as you get over one or two, here come three or four more. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's letting us know that the Lord is on his way back. Mm -hmm. right. And it's time to stop all the foolishness and time to pay attention mm -hmm. and, and evaluate who you are. Yes. When you see God, then you'll see yourself. Yeah. Amen. Right. I put that seeing me. Because mm -hmm. I'm preaching about me this morning. I don't know about y'all. Y'all might be holy than I am. So I don't have to worry about y'all. I'm preaching about me this morning. Amen. Amen. Right. One of the things I learned in this, this passage is that when we begin to worship God, it adjusts our perspective. Mm -hmm. People come to church on Sunday morning expecting to get something and carry it back. But you should be bringing something in. Because you have prayed for the service and prayed that the Lord will touch the mouth of the preacher. Amen. And that the word will go forth and that God will do whatever God does to help us to move forward in life. Amen, y'all? Amen. Amen. The word holy is Greek means separated for special usage. Now, I'm going to give you an example uh, of the, uh, the priesthood of Aaron. When you look in... Uh, no, uh, ex Exodus mm -hmm. verses 12 mm -hmm. Exodus 40 verses 12 through 15 alright I had it marked in <laughs> pages of Exodus 40 12 through 15 and look just dealing with holiness and thou shalt bring Aaron and his sons into the door of the tabernacle of the congregation and wash them with water. Mm. And thou shalt put upon Aaron the holy garments and anoint him and sanctify him. Holy means sanctification or uh, separated, amen? Mm. Here is a, a, a priest being called and being separated. And thou shalt put upon Aaron the holy garments and anoint him with, and sanctify him that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. And thou shalt bring his sons and clothe them with coats. And thou shalt anoint them as thou didst anoint his father, their father, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. For their anointing shall surely be an everlasting priesthood throughout their generations. That's when God called Aaron, not only did he call him, but he called his sons to help him. Amen? Amen. He set them apart. Mm -hmm. We had some uh, conversation this morning about the why shouldn't somebody do such and such. God calls a person to do certain things. I didn't volunteer to be pastor of Coach First, First Baptist Church. I came kicking, screaming, howling, and saying, why me, Lord? There's somebody better than me. Why don't you? I, I can help, but the Lord sent somebody else. But when God call you, I'm sure that you're not always willing to go. Am I right about it? Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. Roger. Amen. 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 <laughs> Brother Scott. Amen. Amen. Pastor Mocha. Amen. Amen. We, we, we know when God calls us 
There is a special equipment that he gives us. Mm -hmm. Amen. I was afraid that I wasn't going to be equipped, but then I realized that the battle's not mine. It's the Lord. Amen. 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 And these are not my people. They're his. Mm -hmm. And I'm a newspaper boy. I'm a person here to bring a message. Amen. Or a, a, a report or extra. Let yeah. you know that God is still sitting upon the throne. Amen. 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 High and lifted up. Amen. Amen. Even though his eye was a good king and everything, sometimes people get used to the uh, good condition. Mm -hmm. He served 52 years and, and, and he would prosper because he served the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so, so when Uzziah died, his son took over, it was a whole different ballpark. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. It was a whole different ballpark. And so when, uh, when he died, Isaiah began to see. Something. They said, above it stood the seraphim, talking about the throne, mm -hmm. and one had six wings, which twain he covered his face. Amen. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you can't look upon God and live. Mm -hmm. Even the angels, amen, couldn't come before God. They had to cover them faces. Mm -hmm. Amen. They, 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 they were in the Shekinah glory of God, but the Shekinah glory was so great that it, 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 it dimmed your eyes and sort of like snow blindness. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. And, and with uh, uh, two, he covered his feet. Mm -hmm. Amen? When you're in a bright light, you know, they tell you when you get your eyes dilated that, that you need somebody to drive you. And so when you when you have bright light shining in your eyes, you don't get the sense of direction. So so they, they use uh, the wings to cover his feet so he gets some direction. Because uh, it says that the, the gospel is shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel. Shod your feet, your feet. Amen. Where I go, what I do, it matters yeah. to God. Amen. And it said uh, and, and and with twain. He didn't fly. That's why the songwriter said, one bright morning, when this life is over, I'm going to fly away. Amen. Amen. In fact, you be on a jet going to New York, I'll beat you going to heaven before you get to New York when God called me. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> if I'm falling, I read Pastor Johnson, he said, I've been falling from a 42-foot building. Before I hit the ground, I'm already in heaven. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Holy, holy, holy. Verse, verse 3. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. When we come before the Lord, we begin to see his holiness, how he separated to save us. The theme of the Bible is a holy and righteous God seeking sinful men. Amen. God didn't come to kill us, but he said that I descended into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. saved. Mm -hmm. See, a lot, of, a lot of people out there don't, who don't know the Lord think that every time they do something wrong, God's going to condemn them. No, your consequences will condemn you. Amen? Mm -hmm. You don't have to do right. You don't have to be told to do right. If you live wrong, God will get it right if you can't get it right. Y'all hear me? Amen. God will get it right. Mm -hmm. People want to live the way they want to live and present it before God and God and ask God to make it holy. It doesn't work that way. Amen. 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 And one cried to another, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Every word in the Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Every people, every person that God created, created for glory. And the whole world was created for God's glory. And, and this is holiness. Amen? Amen. Yeah. <clears throat> Holy is used for one, uh, separated for a purpose. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Emphasis, three rep reputations of holy. God is holy. An attribute of God. The transcendence character of God. An attribute that is a moral attribute. God want to share that with us. Amen. 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 He want us to be holy like he is holy. Amen. 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 Second point. When we get to uh, verse, verse 
And we're not there yet. Let me put a second post. And the post of God uh, at the door moved, and the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Verse 5. Then said I, Amen. Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips. For mine eye has seen the King, the Lord of hosts. One of the things the Lord would do when he presents his holiness to a person, amen, they begin to recognize that their company mm -hmm. is just like them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Point two. Holiness magnifies corruption. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. When we see God in his righteousness, send him up the throne, amen, and begin to realize that he's king of kings, that he's lord of lords, he's over top of everyone, we begin to see the magnificent value of God in holiness, one separated from, amen, sin. Amen. 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 One separated from sin so that we now see that he's separated from sin, but then you begin to look at yourself yeah. and begin to see your sinful nature. Yeah. Holiness magnifies corruption. When he saw God, Isaiah saw himself. <laughs> Amen. Amen. When he saw God, he saw himself. Mm -hmm. Amen. What did, what did he see about himself? He began to see some things. He began to look in the mirror, began to see blemish in his life that he didn't like. Amen. For the first thing, he recognized he's undone. Yeah. Yeah. He's not a completed work, that there are some things that needed to be changed in his life, and only God can change it because he's looking at a perfect God and in his imperfect life. Yeah. Amen. Some people want to say significant others, but that's a sinful way of saying that you live in, in shame. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to make it shame anymore because the world had, the world had glorified sin. Amen. When the Bible says Satan going to be loose for a thousand years, I never imagined in my life that this world would turn upside down and that people would glorify wrong and make it right and, and, and condemn right to make it wrong. Amen. Glorify sin to make it comfortable for them and then glorify, uh, uh, glorify everything that's uncomfortable for God, that God hates. Amen. And poor. Amen. So when Isaiah saw himself, he saw, saw when he saw himself, he recognized the power of God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. When we look at Revelation, uh, Revelation 4, 10 through 11, you begin to see. Uh, Y'all with me? Hope you got your Bibles online. Man. So y'all can follow me so you won't think I'm making up some stuff. Isaiah, I mean, Revelation chapter 4, verses 10 through 11. Revelation 4, verses 10 through 11. For the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that, that liveth forever and ever. And they cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for by uh, for thy pleasure they are and were created. They begin to recognize that even the crowns that they earned didn't belong to them. They begin to throw it at Jesus' feet. They amen. Begin to worship God because when we see the Lord lifted up, we begin to worship God in a different way. Amen. Amen. We should be able to praise God just for breathing the air because when you walk around, you see somebody with a with a tank on, on their shoulder and, and they, they're wishing they had the air that you had to breathe in. Amen. Amen. Or you should be able to thank God for every heartbeat because somebody's walking around with a defibrillator on. Amen. Just to keep their heart stimulated and God stimulate that heart every second, nanosecond, every all day long. Amen. Amen. We should be thankful for our eyesight because when we walk around, we see people who have patches on their eyes. People who have sticks they're walking with. We should thank God for everything. That's right. Amen. Everything. Amen. Everything. Amen. Amen. I even thank God for just, just waking up in the morning. Mm -hmm. Give him glory. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, verse 8 says in, chat, in Revelation uh, 4, 8, I, I, I'm moving too fast for my 
I love you, God. Help me. Help me pray. Verse 4, 8 says this. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him. And they were full of eyes within. And they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was, which is, and is to come. Past, present, and future. Amen. 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 Holy, holy, holy. God is holy, not only just in the past, he's holy today. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he'll be holy tomorrow. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's a character that doesn't change. Amen. Now, what it says is that, then said I, woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Mm. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs off of the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips, and thy iniquity, which is sin, is taken away, and thy sin is purged. Point three. Holiness. Demands purification. Mm -hmm. When you understand who God really is and you see the realization of yourself, you will want to do something to bring about a change in your life. You can't continue to live in sin when you see God, amen, in his uh, majesty, amen, amen. How, how, how loving and how a holy God is and how, how care, careful God is to, to give, a, give us Amen. An opportunity to share his glory. Amen. 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 And to share his holiness. Verse 6. Then immediately after. Verse 5. Amen. Uh, he, he said that. Uh, verse 6. Then flew one of the seraphims. I can imagine. That, that's a picture right to put a coal upon your lips. Mm -hmm. hmm. How would you like that, Roger? No. Amen. <laughs> This, that's we like talk about it. Talk about a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. You give us something to talk about, will you? Amen. Amen. You put a coal. See, see, a fire is used to. It, like I worked out Bethlehem Steel, fire is used to uh, to get the slag out of the out of the metal. Amen. And slag pots and and uh, you just couldn't imagine. I worked out Bethlehem Steel for so many years, and then some people. Had accidents fall into a flag. As you can imagine what happened. Fall into a, a big, we call it a, what's called it? It was mold, ingot, ingot, ingot mold. Ingot mold. With a big pot. And they had the things on the side that would turn it so it could pour it out. Amen. In the uh, coke oven. And, and then uh, the, it was so hot. The fire was so hot, it burned off the impurities. Of the metal, amen. Mm -hmm. And so that's what this is purification. Isaiah had a problem with his mouth, mm -hmm. and he told God about it, and it went right to the angel's ears. And the angel began to purge him because he was asking God to help him with his unclean nature, his undone. He wanted to be uh, holy like God, and he began to see that all this stuff happened after Uzziah died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything was peachy. Didn't see any need. As long as life is going good for people, they don't see a need for God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But Isaiah began to see himself. Amen. This is a thing for self-evaluation. When I begin to see myself and what God has brought me from, I begin to realize what he has done for me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because I, I had unclean lips at one time too. And I believe y'all y'all can probably attest to some words that came out of your mouth probably need a cold on. Amen. Amen. To burn it up. Because some of us are still going through things with unclean lips. But God still is able to purify us. Amen. Yes. Amen. Rather than throw us in the fire, mm. he takes the fire and purifies. Mm. Amen. 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 So, after seven, he touched my mouth with it and said, Behold, this has touched your lips. Your iniquity is taken away and your sin is purged. A live coal was used to purify or for cleansing. The angel cleansed Isaiah's lips because unholiness cannot exist with holiness. Got that? You can't live. People think that they can live any kind of way. Amen. And still 
receive the blessings of heaven. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's wrong. Amen. Even though it's a blessing fall upon the just as well as the unjust, mm -hmm. you ain't going to go into heaven just any kind of way. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. Amen. Amen. So the theme of the Bible, holy and righteous God seeking sinful men. That's the gospel. Amen. Mm -hmm. God will cleanse the mouth and the mind, the lips, and the decisions of a person. Mm -hmm. God's solution for mankind is to declare the unholy holy. Isaiah confession in, in verse 5, woe is me, was forgiven in verse 6 and 7. He was cleansed, purified. 1 Peter 3, 18, for Christ died for, for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. Amen. Y'all hear that? Amen. Amen. Just bear with me. Isaiah understood that there was a gulf between him and and God. That's why he said, woe is me. I'm undone because I am a man of unclean lips. And he dwells in an environment with people with unclean lips. Amen. And, and uh, they were just like himself. When he saw God, he began to see the world differently. Mm -hmm. When we see God and love God, we're going to learn how to love the things God loves and hate them. The things that God hated. Amen. Amen. When he saw God, he began to discover his unrighteous state. When he, he when uh, he was shown by the angel that God's uh, uh, forgiveness can bridge the gap. Amen. When people whose lives have not changed still go to church, they are unbelievers because they have not believed the holiness of God. You cannot be in the presence of God and not change. You won't change everything, but something about you has right. got Amen. to change. Amen. 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 It don't change like that because it don't. Everything don't change like a snap. Mm -hmm. Amen. It said, "If any man be in Christ, a new creature. Uh, Amen. A new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become. The word become means ongoing. Mm -hmm. Amen." Everything don't change at once, but at times we get closer and closer to purity. And we won't get to purity until we get out of this world. Amen. Amen. Y'all hear me? Amen. Mm -hmm. When one can admit his or her guiltiness of sin, then they can be saved. First John 1 John 1.9, we know that. If we confess our sins, he's faithful to forgive us of our sins. And they cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Holiness means separation. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Point one. Two. Holiness magnifies corruption. Point three. Mm -hmm. the holiness demands or it mandates purification. Mm -hmm. When you find out how unholy you are mm -hmm. and how God demands and requires holiness, you have to do something about it. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now, I know this is, a, I, love, I love to dance. When I got saved, I went over to the NCO club, and, and I was going to dance and have a good time. And like, people walked past me, somebody said to me, you don't belong here. Amen. I was like, wow. <laughs> I felt very, very uncomfortable. I was trying to get comfortable where I came from. Mm -hmm. and, and people looking at me like, man, you, you, you blowing the fire. You need to get out of here. You don't belong here. Mm -hmm. I, and, and, and I said, wow. Them, them people, them people are on the street, they see me, they say, you a pastor? I said, I didn't know that already. I can't be in common in this world for nowhere. Amen. They say, or they might say, are you a deacon? Are you a preacher? Mm -hmm. Are you a pastor? Mm -hmm. I believe that's, that's God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Letting you know something, something, something changed. Amen. Because I, I didn't always get those compliments. Somebody would say, Pastor Bala, they would never say, you a preacher. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor P. <laughs> like James Brown said, Pastor P. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> now, God speaks in verse 8. Listen to this. Say, now, I gave you four, four points. It's what? Uh, holiness, motivate, commission. Fourth point. Holiness motivates commission. Amen. Amen. Verse 8. 
I'm going to back up and do, do six read again. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in the hand, which he had taken from the tongs, with the tongs from the, off the altar. And he said, and laid it upon my mouth, and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin is purged. Also I heard a voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And I say, St. George. <laughs> I was like Isaiah. St. George, he knows the Bible. <laughs> Whom shall I send, St. George? Send anybody. Don't send me. <laughs> Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Roger, what do you say? Who do you say? <laughs> Roger, I know you can find somebody. <laughs> Anybody but me. Then, the Lord, then said I, I said, then said I, hereby send me. Mm. See, God will clean us up. Mm -hmm. And he prepares us for responsibility. Sister Hill, the job that you're doing with the ladies, it's not a simple responsibility. Sister Leslie, you're working with all them DRATs. I mean, you know, the privileged kids, all these kids. It's not always a pleasure, but it is a responsibility. Amen. Amen. And the deacons know that. The deacon Scott working hard at the names of God in prayer and Deacon Hill every Sunday morning. All that, even, even, uh, People in the congregation, Pastor Mocha already know that it's it's not it's not an easy task. But when God equips you, mm -hmm. it leaves you with your jaw again. Yes. Amen. Yes. And he begins like Isaiah said, "Wow," and they're still saying, "Whoa!" It's me saying, "Wow!" Is God? Yes. Amen. Yes. Wow, yes. God did this. Yes. Amen. Yes. So. Send me. Evangelism is a sure effect that God is pleased. Mm -hmm. If you can't talk about what God has done in your life, then ain't nothing been done. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I tell you, when you hit the lottery, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Don't pretend yeah. you don't know. Yeah. When you hit the lottery, you tell everybody I had that number. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, amen. Yeah. He's been doing a holy day. <laughs> yeah. Amen. But when Jesus washed my sins away, I want to tell everybody. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. And I was dragging them down. They say, pray for me. And right in the morning, I start praying right in the morning. Yes. Don't ask me, because I forget. If you ask me, if you ask me in the middle of a, 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 a group of people to pray for you, here we go. Let's pray. Yes. Amen. 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 Pastor Moch, you know, I had dragged him along with me. Amen. His heels are smoking, but he loved doing what he did. Because when we love Jesus and love what God is doing in our life, we want to tell somebody about it. Amen. 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 Yeah. What is it about money, a million dollars, if you can't tell somebody about it, you can't enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Y'all with me? Amen. You want people to rejoice with you. Mm -hmm. And so when uh, uh when Isaiah said, send me, he made himself available. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Accountability and availability. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. He made himself accountable when he said, woe is me, I, I'm undone. Mm -hmm. Something needs to be done about my life. It's not, it's not what, it, what it, it measures up to me when I look at the true and holy God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. You see, in the passage, God cleansed Isaiah. And now Isaiah made himself available. God in his holiness convicts you. God in his love cleanses you. And God in his wisdom calls you. And God in his power commissions and qualifies you. Amen? Amen. As soon as you receive forgiveness and make yourself available, God will qualify you and commission you. I'm going to stop and give you a thought. Truck came in the neighborhood and they were giving out cheese all over the neighborhood. Well, they didn't make flyers or anything like that back in the day. They didn't have flyers. But the word spread like, like a virus. And people were 
coming from far and near, trying to buy cheese. And I'm going to tell you, see, the gospel should be like a joint. Mm -hmm. You pass it around. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You should be able to pass the gospel around just like people play a joint. <laughs> pass it around. Amen. The gospel needs to be passed around. I gave you the cheese story so you wouldn't fall off your seat with the second story. <laughs> Amen. As soon as you receive forgiveness and make yourself available, God will qualify you and commission you. Amen. His holiness leads us to our wholeness. Mm -hmm. We are complete in Him. Uh, Colossians 2 9 and 10. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Mm -hmm. And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. Holiness leads us to wholeness. Amen. 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 Holiness is an attribute that God wants to share with you and me. God wants us to be holy like he is holy. Amen. Or to be holy like him. Mm -hmm. uh, Leviticus 20, in, uh, chapter 20, verse 7. Sanctify yourself, therefore, and be ye holy, for I am the Lord your God. Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. Now, Deacon Scott taught this. Mm -hmm. It means self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. Jehovah. So what he's saying is, sanctify yourself therefore and be ye holy, for I am the self-sufficient one. I am Jehovah, your God. Amen? Yes. 1 Peter 1, 16. Because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. Hebrews 12, 44. Pursue peace with all people and holiness without uh, which no one will see the Lord, capital L, small o, small r, small d, which means master, owner, and ruler. Mm -hmm. So what he's saying is, pursue peace with all people and holiness without which no one will see the master or the owner or the ruler. Amen? Y'all yeah. with me? Yeah. See, I did listen. <laughs> I did learn. And now I'm putting it into action. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thessalonians 1 3. Well, this is the will of God, your sanctification. Amen. That means to be holy. Mm -hmm. A relationship with God is always transformative. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you two words to always keep in mind relationship mm -hmm. and fellowship. Mm -hmm. One thing about a relationship, it will transform you. Amen? Mm -hmm. You won't be conformed to the world, but you'll be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Amen? Mm -hmm. That's Romans 12. Amen. Y'all see, I'm going to go there and look at it. What, what it saying? Now, once you meet the Holy God, you will never be the same, and you start to become holy earth. Amen? God loves you the way you are, but you but he loves you too much to leave you the way you are. Amen. Amen. I remember when we had a lot of kids in the Sunday school, they came in, they were about to turn the rafters there. And then after they started learning the word of God, they got they settled down and they began to recognize that uh, the holiness of God. And then when new kids came in there, they were like, what's wrong with them? <laughs> because they began to see it themselves the way they were before God changed them. Amen. And so it is. And so it was. And so it is impossible to remain the same once you meet God. Like Isaiah, we begin to see uh, our unrighteousness and become appalled at what we see. Woe is me. God is holy for two reasons. Number one, God hates sin. Not the sinner. God hates sin. And number two, God loves Righteousness. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. We will know holiness and that we are holy when we hate what God hates and love what God loves. This doesn't mean that we are perfect, but that we are pursuing God's purpose and toward perfection, becoming what God wants us to be. 
Amen. Our changes should not make us judgmental. Mm. Amen. 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 In other words, don't forget where you came from. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But we should learn the compassion that God has for us. Mm -hmm. Y'all with me? Yeah. Uh, a quote from Chuck Colson says, Holiness is the everyday business of Christians. It is evidence itself in the decisions we make and the things we do. Hour by hour, day by day. Amen. Amen. Evaluate your choices in order to please God with all or with our decisions. God is so pure that we see our need to be cleansed once we are uh, the, we understand the Lord. One point. One, understand what holiness is. Point two, holiness magnifies corruption. Point three, holiness mandates or demands purification. Point four, the last point, holiness motivates the mission. Amen. There's a job for all of us to do. We're starting Sunday school this morning that God has a job for every last one of us. My job is not the same as somebody else's job. Sometimes I'm the backup, sometimes I'm the front leader. But we have something to do. Mm -hmm. All have said and come short yes. of the glory of God. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Seeing God and seeing me. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen.